Welcome back everybody, my name is Dragagan and this is Greg Tech New Horizons. Towards the end of the last episode, I finished my wall of machines. Um, I did end up making a basic fluid extractor and I swapped out the original extractor since the centrifuge does uh, what I need the extractor to do. Um, I did that so that I could get uh, some redstone into um, uh, the assembly machine <clears throat> because the um, for the electronic circuits trying to make these vacuum tubes is a pain in the rear this way I mean it's costing you two steel well technically one when you have the lathe plus that red alloy bolt uh, and instead I went to I believe it's this method nope not that one it's this one it's still only one but you're only using one steel rod, some copper wire, and a glass tube. And then the 18 molten red alloy happens to work itself out to be um, eight runs at this, uh, at this usage for one ingot. So one ingot, you're getting eight runs out of this. And so then you just need the eight steel rods, eight copper wire, and eight glass tubes. And you end up with eight vacuum tubes instead of the 16. And then, you know, however many copper wires, you don't even have to mess with the fine wire. So it makes it really nice to do all that stuff in the assembler. Uh, I did all of that so that I could come out here and um, I've cleared off the entire area and I've walled it most of the way off, but I've only got so many torches down. And then I went ahead and I made this, my portal to the Twilight Forest. Uh, that is uh, where I will be headed in uh, today's episode. Um, basically the idea being that in the mod pack, I need to um, move on down here with the lead. And in order to get the lead, I have to go there. Uh, if you look under Novice Thermaturge, once you uh, pass through and uh, jump through to the Twilight Forest, uh, it opens up this quest for lead, galena, and silver. So collecting all of those out of one. Uh, and then it also gets us started with Thalmcraft. So we can get into Thalmcraft. We can also take a look at um, Ironwood, uh, which uh, if you read the flavor text, um, it's harder and more durable than rubber. And so you can make soft mallets out of it. Um, so that would be uh, very handy to have for uh, making those uh, mallets that uh, uh, we use to stop and start machines and then also um, using it to make, I use it to make fruit juices rather than trying to use uh, the extractor uh, f for things like that. So that's today's episode. Go into the Twilight Forest, find us some lead, galena, and silver. And uh, with a couple of upgrades to um, my uh, crossbow that I have, uh, we may make an attempt, or rather the bolts really, we may make an attempt on the naga in this episode. So I'll look forward to seeing you back in a little bit. All right, here we are in the land of twilight. <clears throat> I've got my home marker marked. I've already gone ahead and marked out several um, spots, several potential mining spots based on the uh, chunks and stuff. Uh, starting with this one here and working my way up to uh, negative one and negative one. And then same thing over here, marking my way down and hitting one and negative one, just so that I can easily figure out where I want to mine. <clears throat> and try and get these chunks out. So I'm gonna start right here. And let's see here. What did we start off with? Oh, oh wow, no way. Immediately off the bat, silver and Kalina ore right there. <laughs> How cool. All right, let's see here, so. That's one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And then I'll go ahead and grab this one, this one, grab that. Uh, let's see here. Grab that, put that there. I'm going to move my torches over here. There we go. And that way I can make my way up. That one. Wow, that did not take long to find. Excellent. 
So the other thing that I'm going to end up doing is I'm also going to start looking for um, a, uh, a nickel vein. If only uh, that wouldn't take nearly as long as that one did. That would be nice. <laughs> My marker marked the tree. <laughs> Hello, Raven. And there's calcite. Uh, what else would be here? Lapis? Yep, sodalite. All right. So that is a calcite vein. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, let's see here. I want to keep going this way. Hit this last one over here. <clears throat> and see if there's something really good right down below us. Um, one of the things that I will do in the future is I will probably be running around with my um, prospecting tool and looking with um, cinnabar ore uh, because the cinnabar ore happens to be another sodalite. Wow. Looks like that's the bottom of this one, though. So it looks like there may have been one layer there, and that's it. So that's useless to us. Uh, let's go ahead and... All right, well, I'm going to keep looking around, see if I can find some uh, nickel ore uh, to uh, um, continue on with other stuff. See you in a bit. All right, didn't take me long to find some nickel ore either. If I look on my map, I went from here's home. We searched in that one, found silver. Searched in that one, found a little bit of lapis. Searched in that one, there was the very bottom of lapis. Hit here, found limonite, and then went right here. And right here, I've already got some nickel. So I can start uh, getting this one mined out. Let's see here. One, two, three, and four. Oh, but it looks like it might only be... Uh, I might only have the bottom three of the nickel. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to end up coming back with my um, my excavator, right? That's what that thing's called. <laughs> uh, and, or my hammer, rather. Not my excavator, my hammer. And uh, <clears throat> hammering down these guys and seeing, uh, seeing if I can get uh, some of the materials that we'll need in order to keep going with uh, quest progression. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, I just uh, just completed getting my lead, galena, and silver. Got 32 of each. Actually, I got quite a bit more of the uh, galena, uh, and then the silver, and then the lead ore. <clears throat> so, picked all of those off. Used my nice hammer. Carved out a nice big chunk here. Uh, so yeah, uh, now that I have that portion done. Um, I can jump back and head back to the house and then try and get uh, the lead dust stuff done. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, that didn't take too long and I got my 32 lead dust. Uh, and then after the 32 lead dust, it wants me to make this battery alloy. Pretty simple stuff. Battery alloy just needs to be um, in the... Oops alloy smelter and it's a combination of four lead to one antimony to get five battery alloy ingots. I have been converting as much of my antimony as possible uh, from the nuggets into the ingots here. Uh, let's see here. So it wants me to make ten plates which are going to be a, a uh, should I be? I should be able to put those into, yes, the bending machine, 24 EU, so I can do that there. So I only need to have one of these guys to four of the other. And I'll just put the rest of them up in here for right now. Oops, that'll only get me five. I need another set to get me the other five to make ten total. And then I was, uh, I've got to wait for just a little bit. Well, I guess I can do that now. Um, I was making a whole bunch more chests to make some of the, um, some of the uh, additional um, oak drawers uh, so that I can start putting some of the other ores that I am going to be getting over there. Uh, and so let me just convert that back to a one. Slap that in my bending machine. And then the 10 of these guys 
it'll take them just a little bit. My steam looks like it's holding up fairly well. Um, it was burning steam for a little while there. Um, you'll notice one of the new quests. Now, I've played this pack before, but I, I uh, this quest wasn't there in the previous time I played it. <clears throat> it now has the LV Advanced Steam Boiler. The LV Advanced Steam Boiler, it takes a, just an electronic circuit, an LV machine hull, huge steel fluid pipe, some steel gears, so that's going to consume a bit of steel there. Um, but then it's got these two advanced boiler chassis. Those things are ULV machine hulls, which are super cheap. I mean, it's wrought iron, so eight there, a ninth one here, two wood planks, and some lead cables. And then uh, combine those with four lead plates, some large fluid pipes, and uh, go figure a vacuum tube to make each of these advanced boiler chassis. And then those can go into this, and there are these guys here. Um, notice that it says it produces 250 liters of steam per second so even though it produces 35 pollution a second uh, that amount of steam per tick uh, or sorry per second I believe that outperforms this guy back here the high pre the high pressure uh, steam boiler at least the uh, flavor text on the quest makes it uh, sound like that. Um, it produces more efficiently than a high pressure boiler. I'm trying to figure out whether that means a the, the high pressure steam boiler or if they mean a high pressure railcraft boiler. But if I had to guess, they mean this coal bro boiler right there um, rather than the railcraft boilers. All right, there are my 10 lead plates. And what else did this quest want? It wants... 510 cables. Well, let's see here. Grab two of those guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and run that through the wire mill. I produced a bit more rubber because I have been chewing through it. And I believe back here in this chest, I have, yep, one more tin cable. So we'll go ahead and snag that. Grab these four wires. Should have kept four of the rubber there. <laughs> All right, there's the battery alloy quest. And then it wants me to make five small battery hulls, which are just those guys together like that. There's no, there's nothing in the assembler. Uh, no, not with molten polyethylene. So we can't make it the nice and easy way yet. That will have to wait. So there we go. Five uh, battery uh, casings now. And I can choose between cinnabar, glauconite, lipidite, or sphalerite. Um, this one is the rock salt, uh, the sphalerite we already have a bunch of, uh, glauconite. Um, that one might be useful. Actually, I think that might be the nickel one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the glauconite ore is... Bentonite. Hmm. You can only get that in... Oh, that's one of the ones in... Not in the overworld, but it is in the Twilight Forest. That might actually be a good one to get. Although you can find it in soapstone veins um, uh, in the overworld and in the Twilight Forest. So that might actually be a good one to get so that we can find the olivine ore. Uh, if we stick that into one of the, uh, I already have those. I know where to get that. We already have that. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go with that one uh, instead. And that way we can easily get um, that other, um, that other ore in the Twilight Forest. All right. So that opened up a ton of other quests. How to get sodium and lithium. There you can see the rock salt, spooniman, lepidite, rock salt, salt ore, all that stuff. Uh, so I guess I'll be running around to collect that. Um, the quest to get sodium. Come on. Uh, the glauconite. Oh, and that one wants you to go. So I can go in the overworld, and if I haven't found any of the soapstone, I can run around with that in order to get the uh, soapstone because it is only from 20 to 50. Hopefully uh, my 60 range on that thing will pick it up. But otherwise uh, we've opened up now sulfuric acid and mercury, a mercury cell. That would be interesting. Centrifuging cinnabar dust by the looks of it. Gets a little bit of mercury. So we would want to centrifuge that and have its output go somewhere 
so that we can uh, get it into a can. Um, I might have to play a move around between um, uh, like this guy right here, my uh, ULV thing, and put it here, and then that way I can suck out those into a can for that. Sulfuric acid, of course, being a combination of sulfur trioxide and that, so how does it want me to make the sulfur trioxide? Not the electrolyzer, it said the chemical reactor with water. Sulfur trioxide is a chemical reactor between oxygen and sulfur dioxide, or oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Some way of getting that. So let's see, sulfur dioxide, what's an easy way of getting that then? And get it out of the blast furnace, which we do need to start focusing on making. Uh, that one will be interesting. And that could be made in the chemical reactor with just some sulfur and two things of oxygen to make that sulfur dioxide. So this setup is really nice and compact. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you input and output very easily. So this... Uh, Works well for what I'm for the little bit I'm trying to do, but to get much further, um, especially with me creating more uh, steel, I may start doubling up on some of these machines, like either the chemical reactor, uh, maybe the assembling machine, so that I can have some for glue and some for uh, not necessarily rubber, but some for the fluid extractor to do the redstone and the lead, so that I can start doing that. Um, I, eventually, hopefully, I can make a um, a circuit uh, assembling machine, uh, but that I believe is locked behind the, uh, what is this, the emitter. I believe this is somewhere right down here blocked behind the emitter and the robot arm. So maybe that'll pop up after I get this guy done. I can do this guy now. Um, he does require more chips, so I'm going to be, of course, making more chips, but it's got that Certus Quartz in there to make that. So yeah, a bit of stuff ahead of me yet in our quest book. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll join you guys after I've gotten a little further. So I did a bit more exploring and a lot more dying. Um, this is a hidden mountain, but uh, right over here at this spot, this crevice runs around and then cuts back across. And I wasn't paying attention, fell in and died. And then I died three more times trying to get my stuff back out. I finally did manage to get it all. And then on my way back, um, I happened to have found, uh, and, I, and I marked it right there with a rocky hive, but I found a soapstone. I had one of the glauconite in my ore finder wand and ran across the soapstone here. And then also I ran across a couple things of bentonite I like this one more because I don't have to go by this nasty ravine and fall to my death again. This one is nice because the ravine is, of course, on the right side, or to the right of it. So uh, I uh, was able to get my 16 talc, 16 soapstone, 16 pentalite, and 32 glauconite. And there is the how-to sodium quest. Uh, I've also run across a couple of stuff um, right here. This is an, uh, another Terra Air uh, spot. So I'm going to probably hold on to um, my uh, cinnabar ore like this. And as annoying as it is for me, I'm going to run around with my ore finder uh, here so that I can um, find any places that have cinnabar. And the idea being that as I run across things with cinnabar, I can um, mark them to go back and check them out later because I really don't want to right now. Right now I want to get the nickel uh, to complete the, um, the nickel quest. And then I'm going to go back into the overworld and I'm going to hit up my, um, my rock salt uh, spot that I have marked uh, so that I can knock out these other two quests, which should get me to the rest of the battery quests by completing the sodium and the um, the sodium and the oh, what's the other one it wants? 
lithium. So knocking those out there uh, and then also having the nickel. Now there you can hear I've got my ore finder wand. It's, uh, it's found some cinnabar ore. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this right here. I'm going to edit it and just say cinnabar so that I know later on to come back to this area and dig down and see what uh, what elements are hiding there. Um, uh, so that's the idea, just to give myself a general sense of, okay, this is where I can find the Terra and Air. This is where I can find, you know, the um, uh, Perdido Ordido, and then also be able to find the um, Fire and Water. Uh, so yeah. You can see right over here is a Naga, um, a Naga spawn area. I haven't gotten close enough to spawn the Naga. Uh, once I, uh, I do want to take a little bit of time and upgrade my crossbow, and uh, um, you know that way I have a, a, a crossbow in addition to my bronze broadsword. Probably repair up my short bow just in case, and then also, um, well, not the wooden spear, but I may upgrade this to a steel. Uh, so that I can run around and chase and kill it uh, instead of, uh, uh, you know, die into it or whatever. So yeah, uh, I'm going to get this nickel ore here, and then I will uh, head back to the overworld and collect some of those other materials, and I'll see you after I've grabbed them all. And I'm back. I have done just a little bit. I went out and gathered up another 12 stacks of the Skystone because uh, the... One of the other quests here, this one right here, a big meteorite, wants you to collect 1,024. So I already had four stacks from the earlier quest. I gathered another eight, so that puts me at 12. I just need to get another four stacks of sky stone to bring me up from that 830 uh, up to, well, I'm, I guess I'm just too short of um, 13 stacks and get that up to that 1024. In addition to that, I also decided I may as well go and collect, well, I grabbed the inscriber, uh, some of the presses there, um, in one of my boxes around here somewhere. Here we are. Uh, I already had uh, the logic, the silicon, and the calculation press from another meteor I uh, tore up. So this one happened to have given me the fourth and final one for AE, which is the engineering press. Got another Skystone chest. And then in addition to that, I decided I'd go ahead and gather up the materials that I needed in order to knock out both the uh, salt quest and the diamond quest. So there is the diamond quest, which was, I believe that was a tier one quest. And I went ahead and got it done. And there is the how to get sodium lithium quest. So that gets us access to making getting 10 sodium dust, which, okay, so it needs to be washed out or electrolyzed. So I'm going to have to um, get an ore washer up and running for that. Uh, and then the lithium, again, washed out. So I can either, I can either um, get an ore washer or this one can be centrifuged out of the sputamine ore. So I could also do that. So yeah, those are two more quests that I can take a look at doing and those will lead to the battery quests, I believe. Uh, the, the lithium battery, the sodium battery, and then I think there's one other one that's gated down here somewhere, a sulfur battery or something along those lines. So I'll take a look at those at another point. But I basically accomplished everything I wanted to today, uh, which was to get through uh, the lead, the battery alloy, and getting into these quests. I'm going to work on these on the side. Um, and hopefully have those done before too long, but those will require making this basic ore washer uh, in order to finish those up. And uh, while I'm at it, I may go ahead and also make, um, I'm not sure, I may make a couple of the other machines just to get us ready for um, the other quests that we'll need to do. Uh, and then uh, beyond that, I do want to gear up just a little bit. Basically, I want to build up my crossbow so that I can go after um, these uh, Naga scales. So, yeah, once uh, uh, I think I'm going to call it for this video. And in the next video, looking forward to um, defeating a Naga and uh, getting our first wand. And, well, we have to get 
aluminum first, which also means that we are going to need to go into our multi-block goals and we're going to need to complete the EVF, which fortunately, because I was out mining the, um, the nickel, uh, that's where we will need the cooper nickel wire uh, being one of it. Uh, let's see here. Alloy smelter of copper and nickel. So that's not too bad. And then from there, um, making those cooper nickel coil blocks. Um, the other difficult part, um, just the invar and getting the invar up and running. So yeah, uh, those are going to be my next uh, goals and focus. So I will see you in the next video.